a little bit. Yeah. Um, but uh, actually, I thought about other titles of my presentation as, for example, thermodynamics of the solar system or why creationists do not understand physics. So uh, I want to, to um, give a short uh, overview of my, my outline um, after the motivation, what's the problem of the sun or uh, what can we model there. Um, the modeling itself, how can we look at a solar system consisting of the sun and uh, the Earth uh, only, that's a simplification, and at the end, a short conclusion. So, okay, uh, what's the main impact of the sun? Um, a common answer, energy or heat, because this is what the sun provides that life can exist. And, yeah, the claim of me um, is now, it's not quite true, because energy cannot be destroyed. So, why do we need new energy um, by the sun? Um, the question, what's the role of the sun in the solar system, and especially for us and uh, for the Earth? So, yeah, nice picture of the sun uh, by the NASA, um, uh, which I found in general uh, in na National Geographics. And, yeah, um, I want to recall the first two laws of thermodynamics. The first is that the change of the inner energy is equal to the change of heat, which um, goes to the system, or um, which the system releases, plus uh, the work which is done by the system. And the second law is that the quantity of the entropy is um, greater than the amount of transferred heat over the temperature of the system. So um, some properties of this quantity entropy, um, it cannot be destroyed. So for a closed system where no um, uh, heat transfer occurs, the entropy cannot decrease. But it can be created from nothing uh, as we know from uh, thermodynamics, um, in irreversible processes. So, um, uh, important property is that entropy is coupled to heat transport. So, if we transfer heat, which, which is a, a sort of energy, from one system to another system, we also transfer um, entropy from one system to the other, um, but the quantity, how, how much um, entropy we transfer, this depends on the temperature of that system. So, um, for the system Sun and Earth, I want to introduce the following simplification. The Sun transfers only heat to the Earth, not vice versa, um, at, um, uh, with a small amount of entropy because the uh, temperature is high at the sun, of course. And uh, the Earth releases entropy and heat to the universe, but less entropy than it gets from uh, the sun because the temperature is small. So, um, some definitions for the following um, uh, modeling. Uh, the total entropy is uh, the sum of all um, entropies in the system. The heat transfer is uh, defined as um, delta Q S E from sun to earth and E U uh, from earth to um, universe. Um, it's the same for the transfer of entropy. And the temperature is defined Ts for the sun and Te for the earth. So um, my assumptions are now that the systems can be seen as heat reservoirs. So um, almost the same temperature at every point in the system. And the heat entropy transfers only Earth to, uni uh, Earth to universe, 
oh, uh, that's wrong here. Um, Earth, you know, universe, and sun to, um, to Earth. Of course, there's also a transfer of um, heat from the sun to the universe, but uh, we don't look at that. And my claim is that backward transfer is also neglectable. And energy exchange other than by heat is neglectable as well. So uh, other kind of uh, radiations or so on. And the inner energy of the Earth does not change dramatically. Dramatically, uh, that's another claim, because, um, yeah, maybe there uh, is a process where energy is saved within the Earth, but, um, yeah, the, the claim is that this um, amount of energy is neglectable. And uh, the Earth does not do work on something in the universe, so delta W is almost zero, and therefore the change of heat, the total change of the Earth is zero. So the heat transfer um, is then because the Earth is in an equilibrium, which means that the amount of heat, heat uh, which does, um, the Earth get um, from the uh, sun is the same as the amount of heat which is released by the sun. And uh, therefore, we can uh, find this relation according to the entropy of um, the, um, that which the Earth gets and this which is released by the Earth. And the implication is that the um, Earth releases more entropy as it gets from the sun. So, therefore, irreversible processes at the Earth are possible. So, um, to the crea um, crea uh, crea creationistic objection against evolution is um, that life on Earth consists of complex structure which can be seen as highly ordered. And uh, an increasing of the order of a system is connected with a decrease of entropy. And that's forbidden by the second law of uh, thermodynamics. But only according to the total, to total um, amount of entropy. So uh, the conclusion of the um, uh, creationists would be that the process of evolution cannot be happen because um, it would increase uh, uh, yeah but because it would decrease uh, the entropy that's wrong as well sorry um, yeah but as we have seen before uh, this is not quite true because this is only valid for a closed system and the earth is that of course not so um, the conclusion um, some take-home messages. Yes, the sun provides energy, but in fact only that amount um, which the Earth um, loses via thermal radiation. And uh, of similar importance is that the sun provides heat of a higher quality because uh, it's connected with a smaller amount of entropy as that kind of uh, heat which is released by the sun. And what's about the existence of life? Earth is not a closed system. So the total entropy of the system Earth can decrease if it releases um, entropy. And the, of course, the total amount of uh, entropy within the universe, including sun and earth, will increase. So complex structures can come into existence, as one might think about life and so on. And what about the creationists? Well, they have to learn that delta S is greater than zero. It holds only for closed systems. So um, thank you. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Uh, question. Yeah? So does the total entropy of the Earth 
as a system decrease? Um, could be. Is, is, uh, this is. Can you know? <laughs> ah, um, is it possible to find out? Or? Um, yep. The, this uh, um, simplification that entropy is directly connected to um, to the order of a system is is not quite true. But it's, it's a model. Um, but if you look at the Earth, um, having that in mind, um, the, the entropy should decrease because uh, there are humans uh, who live on on the Earth and uh, who build nice buildings as a parameter institute, which are, uh, yeah, of course, ordered structures. So um, I would say probably um, the amount or the entropy of the system Earth decreases. But any time you build perimeter, uh, the total entropy of the Earth, if you consider it as a closed system for the moment. Uh, yeah, but it increases. is not. Yes. Any time you do anything, the entropy increases. Yes. So you don't introduce order. Uh, so, so entropy, human activity creates disorder, creates entropy. And then the equilibrium that you are talking about decreases entropy. So there's certain balance. And, and irreversible processes yeah. um, lead to an increase, uh, yeah, that uh, entropy increases. Yeah, that's true. But, um, and building perimeter is irreversible, right? Probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but this can be, um, yeah, the, the, the total amount um, depends also on the uh, transfer of, um, of entropy to the universe. So the, the whole system Earth is not closed. But uh, you are looking where, where you can see that, where um, the, the entropy which is produced by building this institute um, is released to the universe. Okay. That, uh, is is sure. that your question? Oh. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. And one more thing, I guess. If your oh. total entropy is decreasing with time, what's going to happen in the infinite time limit? So our entropy is going to go to zero overall, or what? Ah, OK. Um, yeah, probably not. So um, we will probably find. Uh, yeah, that the process is, is not in an equilibrium according to the entropy. So um, this will, will depend on, on time. And uh, or it could be that it is um, equilibrium at the moment, so that um, the amount of the, the difference between the entropy which the Earth get from the sun and the amount it released to the universe uh, that difference is exactly uh, the amount of entropy which is produced at the Earth. That, that is possible. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. Any other question? So I just have a question. So the title of your talk is The Sun, Not Only Good for Energy. So could you summarize what tells is the sun good for? So, yeah, that uh, entropy uh, can decrease okay. at the Earth, so uh, that we uh, don't uh, become only heat, because that's uh, that's the process of uh, if if the um, the en entropy increases to infinity, uh, this means that everything um, transfers to to a kind of of heat, mm -hmm. so that so, yeah, everything is chaotic decreases. and. When the, the entropy of the Earth decreases, then you are saying this is good. Yeah, uh, uh, let me say so. Um, the entropy um, of a system which does not produce entropy would decrease. And so uh, this difference makes possible mm -hmm. that irreversible processes can happen at the Earth. That's the idea, yeah. Okay, but th th there were lots of assumptions which are maybe um, not exact. But um, I think that this is a good um, interpretation to understand, understand especially why um, uh, life does not contradict the, um, 
uh, the sec second um, law of thermodynamics. So, uh, so just to, to make sure, uh, when you talk about the entropy of the Earth, yeah. you talk about the entropy of uh, the entropy of materials that say constitute the Earth's crust, or you uh, also imply the entropy of human beings, or plants, animals, or nature on the surface? Yeah, the idea was um, to, uh, to look at the whole system Earth, so okay. everything which is there. So, so yeah, of the, course... Uh, uh, so, uh, so we, we cannot make any conclusions related to the interaction of such subsystems as uh, human beings and uh, the every uh, life organism with what's going on inside the Earth itself. Yeah, uh, of, of course, it would be possible that there are other processes which produce so much entropy that, uh, that this would contradict uh, the, the stru structure of organisms or something like that. that. But um, the, the, the fact is that um, at this stage you cannot see that um, the existence of life contradicts uh, uh, the second law of thermodynamics directly. So one ha has to, to look uh, more uh, precisely on, on the system. 